And here it is. The Pokemon Shelf of Wonder. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Linar. We're more than a channel world community. How's my heart squad doing? I hope you guys are doing amazing. Before I get into this lavish studio tour, I have a way that you guys and myself can keep up together and share your personal Pokemon card collection. There is an app called Snups that I recently joined, and it is da bomb. And I put links in the top of the description below, so you can go download the app. It's absolutely free, but what's best about the app is you can follow me on the app, you can create your own free account, and this will be a way that the Heart Squad will have another mini community where everybody can share their own personal Pokemon card collection. You can sell your cards to each other. You can actually go on there, like their individual collections, share your own Pokemon card collections, put posts about anything Pokemon card related, or go check out the other groups that are on there. There's groups for every single type of passion and hobby on the Snups app, but primarily, I have made a Lean Heart Pokemon cards group, and there should be a link also in the description below that you can actually go sign up for the app for free on your desktop, I believe, as well as downloading the uh, Snups app for your phone and go join the Lean Heart Pokemon Cards group, share your personal Pokemon card collections, trade with people, sell your cards, and most importantly, be in another community of people that are passionate about Pokemon cards. You can go check out all of that via the links in the description below. Let's go. Okay, guys, I know it's been a very, very long time since I've had my studio, and I have not done a studio tour, but rest assured, today is the day that I am going to be giving you guys, the Heart Squad, and anybody else that comes and watches this video, please subscribe, a view of my massive, huge studio. It's actually my home. I love it. This studio is incredible. It's not that big. I think it is literally like... 89 square feet overall, but for sound purposes, as you see, I got the little fluffy stuff. It's very, very cool and it feels like a home to me. I've had the studio for several months now, but I'm gonna take you guys on a little tour of each area and I'll go over the equipment that I use because that is a massive question that a lot of people always ask me is, Leonhardt, what type of equipment and camera do you use? And then I respond like, I use this type of equipment. And then they're like, thank you. So it basically just goes like that, but anyway, I will show everybody now. I don't know if this thing flips around, so I'm gonna have to just go like this. So here is a quick panorama of my entire studio. And as you can see, it really, really isn't as big as you think, but there's all the stuff that I put on the wall. I just got it from amazon.com. It looks really, really more professional than it really is. Actually, parts of them are actually coming off the wall, but it did take quite a while to get them up. I put them up myself, yours truly, and it actually does make a difference with the sound. The sound bounces off of it, so it doesn't sound as echoey as it would in a different room. Now, this is where the magic happens. Actually, that's where the magic happens, but I'll get to that in a sec. As always, please do leave a like and subscribe, and welcome to the Heart Squad if you are new to the channel. As you can see, there's the lovely banner. That is me over there. But this is my computer. It's a very nice computer. And I put it over here in this corner to help with sound purposes. And this is a gaming computer. And this is where I'll hopefully very soon be playing my Leonhard Plays channel. But this is where I do my editing for my videos. This is where I'll be doing streaming very, very soon. But as you can see, it has the very cool, colory rainbow keyboard. This mouse, which is pretty crappy to be honest, because you have to like unplug the USB for the light to turn off, but it's cool at the same time. And then the computer screen itself, which is very nice. I also stroke that too. So here are, there's the actual like tower right there. There's the trash can, it's very nice. And that's a booster box that I don't use anymore. And here are the headphones. They are Audio-Technica headphones. I actually just got these also off of Amazon for around, I think they were only like $30. So they were really good. Here! is where everybody wants to see. This is actually not even complete yet. This background, as you see right here, about to fall over, is something that I need to actually paste and glue solidly to the back of this styrofoam board. But I kind of like it because if I need to change the background or something, I can change the background and move that out of the way. This is also more styrofoam, which I just glued to the desk. 
And uh, so yeah, it offers a great location. It's very bright, very colorful. Here is the stand where I usually actually use my iPhone 6s to record my openings. Can you believe it? I have a Canon G7X Mark II, the Canon E, uh, the ADD, Canon ADD, but I use my iPhone 6s for the most part. It's something that I need to finally upgrade for one of those cameras and use those. I will be doing those soon. Now you saw it. You saw the Coolertron, the Coolertron Audio Technica. This is the plus one. It it plugs in with it plugs. I can't even speak English today. It plugs in with the USB cord, but I also got a little stand for it to help with the. Uh, vibration so it doesn't make as much. I got a little boom uh, filter for the mic that I put on top of the mic itself. And then I also got this. This is all purchased from Amazon in different parts. This part, the microphone itself, the little boom filter thing, and then the little thing that I can't even say names today, but this little stretchy thing so I can actually go forth from over here where I do vlogs or over here where I do card openings. So it's very, very uh, it's very good for multitasking and stuff, and then you can just go like this, and voila, it is now perfectly placed. As far as the camera that I use that you see, my handsome self, it is right here. I feel like a hand model right now. This is it. It's the, the C920 Plus, I believe. Everything's the plus today, but I used to have the original C920, and then I decided to upgrade, and I got the C920. This is something that I believe was around $60 to $80 on Amazon. You guys can get the little lesser, uh, not the plus, but you can still get it for like $50. And it's a great vlogging camera. It's also USB. I suggest getting that on Amazon. And that is essentially the card opening area. Now this is going to be bright for a second. So I'll go like this. Whoa. Actually, it didn't seem as bright as I thought. This is a diva ring light supernova and that is what i use to light up the area and what's so embarrassing is this huge thing down here is a bunch of lights this is my hand going like this these are a bunch of lights that i still need to set up they've been sitting there for months now they're just so big i don't even know if i need to set them up so that's that area that's the lights here's my little organization area those are the dramatic Pokemon readings, which you can leave a like and let me know in the comment section if you want me to continue doing those. They are fun, but you just got to let me know. Um, that is a very nice drawer. And this is a tripod for the camera that I use for some vlogs. There is your fan mail, which I will be opening up very, very soon again. Some Dollar Tree packs, which will also be opened up very, very soon. And then, oh, what, what do you know? It says like and subscribe right here. I guess you guys are going to have to like and subscribe, Heart Squad. Yeah. There is a empty calendar right here. An Evolutions poster, which is pretty cool. That's the organization area, ladies and gentlemen, and some empty boxes. Now, get ready for the coup de grace. I'm talking about the Pokemon shelf, starting with this. A one piece poster that I actually won when I went to an event, but it just reminds me of my voice acting that I've done for the show One Piece. Please leave a like and let me know in the comment section if you are a fan of One Piece. And then here it is the Pokemon Shelf of Wonders. It's just like every single shelf, and it's changing all the time, but every single shelf is filled with different Pokemon memorabilia that's kind of special to my heart. We got the Squirtle from Build-A-Bear. There he is right there. This very cool Pokemon trading card sign, which lights up. It's very cool, very cool fan favorite. There's the Pokeballs right here. Say hello, everybody. Hello, hello, hello. Pikachu, there's the silver play button. I can see my reflection. That's so cool. I love that. That's you guys, that's you guys. And then here is the second way. I gotta say hi to Litton. What do you have to say? Quiet type. Anyway, here is the second shelf. There's this very cool Natu plushie that is gonna be in as many videos as I can get it into. We got the world's smallest Pokemon cards right there. That was a fun video. You guys should go watch that. Another Pokeball, the scratch test, some, I think like Pikachu soup. You can actually eat Pikachu, nostalgic cards, some booster boxes that I've opened up on this channel. You can go watch those right now. I got a Gym Heroes booster box, Team Rocket booster box, an original base set booster box. They were all opened up here on Leanheart. You should go watch those videos. We got the shiny man himself a shiny magic card and a charmander hello he's doing well from build a bear cool there is the card pretty cool and here is the other shelf there's so much stuff on it 
I got the Harry Potter cards right there, which I've opened up on a video on my channel. I need to open up those Sonic the Hedgehog retro keychains. I did a video on all the golden Pokemon, Pokemon Pokeballs. We got some Yu-Gi-Oh cards. The hat. The hat. Not as cool as the King the Crown. But I got tons and tons of dice, cubes, and uh, sleeve protectors. We got everything right here to protect some cards. We got the Pokemon Pokemon parody box, which I did a video on. There's custom cards, custom booster packs, and empty booster packs. Uh, like to save the sleeves. We got Pikachu San Francisco in the back, some Pokemon chargers. That is the that is the third shelf. And the very bottom shelf, I got some goodies down here. Besides having Bean Boozle, the world's bean, biggest Bean Boozle challenge, I got Markiplier's backpack from when I went to the Markiplier VIP event here in Dallas. We got the crown. I'll put that over here. Here is some of my rare Pokemon cards in here. And then in here is where I store several like here's some pre-release guardians rising cards some codes which i give away on my social media accounts check out the links in the description below and then i have like ultra rares and a bunch of other stuff in here but here is some stuff y'all find that i have way too many i am a hoarder even though i give these out i just get so many coins this is insane i can go to like vegas and just throw these around like i'm a high roller so i'll put those coins back here are yeah these are all the pins that I've collected. I need to do a giveaway for the buttons and pins, but if anybody wants to, I guess, purchase some of these, just let me know, contact me via my email. But there is those, and then tons and tons of figures. I got figures, there's the Eevee figures, which I give away before Soul Galeo. I got so much stuff. So, Heart Squad, that was my studio. It's not the biggest thing. I do a lot of vlogs, as you see, my Where Are You At series and a bunch of other stuff when I go around the city, when I go to different events. I'm always vlogging, so it's not just here in the studio, but I love this place. I've been here for several months now. I still got work to do on it, as, as you see, but this place, it's definitely a home to me. It should be a home to you guys. Uh, and Heart Squad, you guys mean the absolute world to me. So uh, thank you so much for watching this video. Check out the Snups app. It really is an amazing thing. Like I want that community, the Lean Heart Heart Squad, to grow on that community as well. Please leave a like if you enjoyed this video and let me know in the comment section your favorite thing from my studio. My name is Lean Heart. Stay awesome, stay positive, and as always, I'll see y'all in my next video.